Hi everybody, this is Carissa with Inky Fairy Designs and I am back with another Ranger Ink tutorial. We're going to be creating this beautiful art journal page using some of the new gloss sprays. So I have a pre-gessoed page here. It's a double spread in the new blue journal from Dina Wakely. So I'm working on the watercolor pages, but I did gesso it just to get the uh, effect that I want to get to create this kind of galaxy sky. So I started with lime and lemon and I sprayed those along the middle of my page kind of in a diagonal. Then I went in with turquoise and magenta and now I'm going to add um, a bit of water just to get those colors and paint moving. So while it's still wet you can add water and get them really really juicy and they'll kind of move like watercolors. So now I'm going to uh, deepen up the edges of the page with eggplant and a bit of night just on the very outer edges of the journal. So you can see that the overspray of these is quite intense. So I always place a cardboard box behind my journal so that I don't spray everything on my desk. Um, you can really see the overspray when I spray the magenta and eggplant. It gets all into the lime and the lemon, um, but that's okay. I can uh, soak up some of that extra with a baby wipe and then come back in with that lime. They layer really nicely over each other even when they're wet, and you can see that it kind of resists the gesso uh, on the page, resists the gloss sprays, and creates these very pretty kind of cellular uh, texture. So once that is dry, and I do use my Ranger Heat Tool to dry my layers, I'm going to go in with a splatter of the white in the gloss sprays. This is my favorite white now to use for splatters, and it's great when you're creating these galaxy backgrounds to add those stars in. So I'm just going to splatter that all around and then dry that layer. Next, I wanna add a bit of texture to my background. I'm gonna do that starting with a stencil. This is one of the new stencils from Dina Wakely Media, and uh, I'm going to be sponging in some mineral paint through that, and I just wanted it around the edges of the page, and I'm keeping it very light, and I'm just going to go through that stencil um, with a uh, makeup brush. I find that the easiest way to get a nice clean stencil and I'll move it down to the bottom of the page to continue that uh, those words all along the left and right side of the page. Um, it got a little I got a little heavy-handed here so I'm going to take my baby wipe and uh, soak a little bit of that paint up just to push it back towards the background a bit. So now here I am, I'm gonna do that same thing on the right side. I'm just gonna sponge that color through the stencil and I'm not really worried about getting all of the words or having it uh, so that you can read it all the way, but it's a great stencil. I love what it says. I want you to know that your soul shines and um, you shine bright, I think is what the bottom part says. Um, but I'm just kind of using that to add some texture to the outside edges of my page. And later on, you'll see I cover that up to, um, to get it um, pushed back a little bit more. With the excess paint on my, uh, that's on my mat, I'm just gonna take that and go around the edges of course, again, later I end up covering that up, but um, it's just all about layers. Never know when I'm going to stop. <laughs> so I'm going to take this stamp, uh, Strong Men, from the new release this year, and I'm going to ink it up with some archival ink in black soot. I'm just going to use uh, two of the faces to create some texture in the background. When I first started this page and I knew I wanted to use this stamp set with that uh, sentiment that says... Uh, the strongest souls have the softest heart. I felt like I wanted to have some of the faces kind of floating in that galaxy background. So that's what that is. And then I stamped it on a tag that I had already 
lots of color on and I didn't like that so I ended up stamping it on some white cardstock and now I'm going to fussy cut that out. I felt that the background was super busy and uh, to make the focal point pop a little bit more I just kept it in black and white. I don't uh, add too much color although you'll see uh, as we get further along I do end up changing this just a bit but uh, I could have just kept it nice and white um, to have that pop against the background. So once that is all fussy cut, I'm kind of trying to figure out if I want to use this tag. And it actually looks good. Like I was looking at the video and it looks good, but I don't end up using it in that way. I pulled out a couple other stamps. Refuse to be Ordinary, I believe, and Funny Peeps. They have some great texture stamps in it. I love the scribble texture. And then in the Funny Peeps stamp set, which is part of this new release of 2020, uh, the dots in that stamp set is one of my favorites to use in creating some texture in my journals and I just and I have ended up using that one over and over and um, I just love those little dots so I'm taking it uh, in the black soot and just stamping it around my page um, stamping it multiple times before re-inking it to get those variations before I start to build my collage focal point on my page, I'm going to do a bit of journaling. I'm kind of trying to follow the green area, the lighter area, but concentrating my journaling in the white paint pen um, along the darker edges so it kind of shows up a little bit more. It really fades uh, quite a bit, but it adds just a bit of texture, and I love just kind of writing out my random thoughts that are going through my mind as I am working on a journal page in this fashion and just using that very scribbly text so it's not legible, it's just adding fun texture to the background. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna start building my collage. And to do that, I wanted to use bits of these awesome pages in this blue journal. So we have this white burlap and then we have this gorgeous denim that are throughout this journal. And so I just cut a circle out of the white burlap and now I'm going to fold over this denim page and I'm going to cut out a heart. I'm just freehand cutting out a heart. Uh, I have to clip down my pages because they didn't want to lay flat. But I'm just going to cut out that heart and I'm going to use that shape in my journal that I'm working on now. But then I have that fun cutout window for a future page down the road. So it's really cool. Um, don't be afraid to cut up your journals like this and use them throughout different pages. So I'm using this sentiment from the Strong Men stamp set, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to, uh, to have it in this uh, gray, which is the Hickory Smoke Archival ink, or if I wanted it in black. So I stamped it out both ways, and then I could decide which one I wanted to use. And I'm just using the scraps of the cardstock that I stamped my face on. Now I'm just going to cut around that entire text with my scissors and then figure out which one I like. Now, I originally, when I used, or when I was creating this journal, I liked the softer gray um, because I thought that it kind of played off of that mineral. But then as I did the video and I was editing it, I thought, oh, I think the black would have looked nice because it would have played off of that face a little bit more. But I, I you know, I did the hickory smoke so it's just um, whatever appeals to you so it's cool to stamp different inks while you're creating and then you can play with them and change them around and decide what which one works for you best so before I glue all of my collage down I'm going to deepen up the edges of my journal like I mentioned earlier so I, I put some black acrylic paint on my mat and I'm just taking that same makeup sponge that I did my stenciling with and I'm going around the edges and bringing it into the middle of the page just a bit and uh, blending it with my fingers. I feel like adding the intense black with the sponge 
uh, works for getting that nice clean edge but then I want to soften it as it moves towards the middle and using my fingers works really well for that and besides what's a journal page if I don't use my fingers for some painting right so I'm just going to continue doing that all around and I feel like that really adds to the intensity of that galaxy sky that I was going for and I really love that. So I'm taking that same hickory smoke that I edged my uh, words with and I'm going to edge this piece of tag that I ripped to create um, just some grounding. I didn't want the head to be kind of floating there in space. Uh, but so that's why I created this kind of focal collage piece for my page. I'm adding some more of those dots onto that white burlap just to give it a little bit more texture and uh, have it blend in better with the background. Just to not really blend it, but um, keep that cohesive design and that pattern element throughout. So now I'm going to do a little bit more doodling on my page. I love adding little stars to my journal pages as I get to um, the completion of it. Um, these are just kind of like my, this is my way of thinking about the page. Um, am I getting close to the end? Um, these little stars and crosses that I add with my white paint pen uh, allow me to think about that while adding some more. Um, texture and dimension to the background. So I added my stars and now I'm going to go in and add my little crosses and I like to do them randomly around the page but I keep them in an odd number formation and I always do them in groups or clusters of five. I don't know why, that's just what I do. Um, that is how I do these little doodles on my page. So once I'm done with that, I am going to take my collage elements again and kind of fuss with them a bit. Um, and then I take my tiny attacher and um, attach the big pieces um, together so that when I collage them down with the ultra thick gel medium, they will all stay. It's kind of, it creates them one element and then I can just glue them all down at once instead of trying to do them individually. So I'm just doing um, applying a generous amount of the ultra thick gel medium even behind the burlap. It dries relatively clear so it doesn't really bother me that you can see that peeking through the burlap. Making sure my face will still fit in there behind that. And then I'm going to um, add some of those crosses to the uh, denim heart. Again, it is just a way to have that design element uh, throughout all of the layers instead of just stopping in one layer. It just makes that all cohesive. So now I'm going to add some of that collage uh, gel medium behind my face. And this is attempt number one. So you'll see here what happens. I decide that again I need to add a bit of um, uh, layers of color onto after I've got this all collaged down. I feel like I need to add, just add a few splatters to the top of my collage as well as my background. So I'm going to take my uh, gloss sprays in magenta and night. And I'm just going to start splattering them. Now I'm good with the magenta, right? Yep, the magenta. And then I'm going to come in with the night because I wanted a few darker splatters uh, on the tag. And then here we have an oops. I got a huge blob of that right on the nose and the face. And I just was not happy with it. It just felt like super weird and not good. So I took a tag that I had on my desk and stamped it on the opposite side where I had all this color. And there was still some color on the tag on the back because when you're working with gloss sprays and paints and stuff and you're picking it up on a tag, you tend to get some color on both sides. So it had a bit of color on the front, but when I stamped it, I loved it because it was the same colors that I used on my background. So it created that um, feel of that it blends in and it was meant to be there. So I love that. 
but that's an easy way to, you know, if you have an element that gets a little bit messed up, you can always stamp it again and try over. So here is a little bit of a close up of all of the beautiful texture in the background. You can see the texture of the watercolor paper and then the gloss sprays. They just, because they dry glossy, they create almost like a leathery feel to the background and I really love it. Definitely one of my favorite new mediums to use in art journaling. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this page come together and how I created a galaxy background using them. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Definitely if you are inspired by this or any of the projects that I have on the Ranger Inc. blog, feel free to tag me on social media. Uh, at, in at Inky Fairy Designs, and I would love to see what you are creating. Thanks again for stopping by today. Uh, until next time, bye.